Let's look at colliding particles in mechanics. The question says particle A is projected vertically upwards with speed 7.35 meters per second from point P, which is 50 meters above the ground. T seconds later, particle B is released from point P. Given the two particles collide one meter above the ground, find the value of T. And here we have a diagram which models the situation in the question. We'll start by considering the motion of particle A from when it is released to when it collides with particle B. Given that particle A is projected upwards will make the upwards direction positive and now we'll consider the suvat for particle a beginning with the displacement of particle a this is where the particle starts to where it ends up when it collides with b and so we know that particle a is 50 meters above the ground when it is released and then it is one meter above the ground when it collides with b and so in total the particle has traveled 49 meters but since it's gone downwards from where it began this would now be minus 49 meters for its displacement we also know that the initial velocity of particle a is 7.35 meters per second and since particle a is projected upwards this is positive and so we have an initial velocity of 7.35 we don't know the final velocity at the point where particle a collides with b and so we can leave this as a question mark we know that acceleration due to gravity always acts downwards and this is given by a value of g which is equal to 9.8 and so acceleration due to gravity is acting down since we made upwards positive we're now going to write this as minus 9.8 we don't know the time it takes for when particle a is released to when it collides with b so we can leave this as a question mark and since we're trying to work out the value of t in this question, which is a time, let's work out the time for this journey. And so since we have s u a and we're trying to work out t, we're going to use s equals u t plus a half a t squared. And so s is equal to minus 49. We know that the initial velocity is equal to 7.35. We don't know the value of t and so we'll leave this as t. And then we have plus a half times minus 9.8 times t squared. We now simplify this and rearrange. We have a half times minus 9.8, which is minus 4.9 times t squared. And then we're going to add this to both sides. So we end up with 4.9 t squared. And then if we take away 7.35 t from both sides, we have minus 7.35 t. And then we have minus 49. And all of this equals to zero. Now, if we solve this quadratic equation using a calculator, we end up with two values of t. The first value being 4 seconds and the second value being minus 5 over 2 seconds. And since we know that time cannot be negative, then we can rule out this time here. And so we know the total journey from when particle A is released to when it collides with B is 4 seconds. We're now going to consider the journey from when B is released to when it collides with particle A. We know that B starts by moving vertically downwards. And so let's make the downwards direction positive. Now setting up a suvat, we end up with the following. Now the displacement of B is where it starts from to when it collides with particle A. And since this is in the downward direction, this is equal to 49 meters. We know that the initial velocity of B is equal to zero because we're told that particle B is released. And so we can assume that it's released from rest. We also don't know the final velocity, so we can leave this as a question mark. We know the acceleration is due to gravity, which is equal to 9.8. And since this is acting downwards, we're going to make this positive. And then finally, we don't know the total time it takes for when B is released to when it collides with A. So we'll leave this as a question mark. Working out the time for this journey again, we have S U A and we're trying to work out T. So using S equals U T plus a half A T squared, we can now work out the value of T. So S is equal to 49 meters. We know that the initial velocity is equal to zero and zero times t is going to equal to zero. Then we have plus a half times a where a is equal to 9.8 and then times t squared. If we now simplify this, we have 49, which equals to 4.9 t squared. And then dividing both sides by 4.9, we end up with 10, which equals to t squared. If we now square root both sides, we get the square root of 10, which equals to t. And we know that when A is released to when it collides with particle B, it takes a total of four seconds. And then we are also told that T seconds later, particle B is released. So we'll make this diagram to help us understand this. We have T seconds passing here. And then at this point, B is released. And we've just worked out that it takes root 10 seconds for particle B to collide with A. And so we can add this to our diagram here.
And so t plus root 10 must equal to 4. And now rearranging this equation, if we subtract root 10 from both sides, we end up with t equals to 4 minus root 10. If we write as a decimal to three significant figures, we end up with t equals to 0 0.838 seconds to three significant figures. And this is the answer for the value of capital T.